A fire has left a family without a place to live, but not without the family dog. Yesterday evening, the Flagstaff Fire Department responded to a house fire on the south side where a family lost a good portion of their house. Many fire crews assisted in putting out the fire, but what makes the story unique is that the homeowner entered the smoke-filled house and saved the family dog. Reporter Colleen Sakura spoke with a man who risked it all for tits. Boom, 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 we hear this knock on the door, and it's, uh, it's a police officer telling my house is on fire. Michelle Nordell was next door at her mother's house on Verde Street when she got the news. She immediately called her husband, Manny. I could hear the fire engines in the background. After Manny arrived at his home, he found everyone he loved was safe, except for his dog, Toots. And I'm like, where is the dog? He and a firefighter went around to the back of the house. The firefighter kicked the door in, and despite being told not to, Manny immediately went into his smoke-filled home. I knew right where to go, because it was pitch black when I went in there. So, I mean, I knew right where she would be, or at least I hoped that's where she would be. It was in her bed area, and that's right where she was. Even with Toots safe and sound, Flagstaff natives Manny and Michelle are still devastated to see their home burn. That's my home. That's been my home for over 20 years. But the bottom line for the Nordells is this. I'm just glad no one got hurt. I'm glad I didn't get hurt. Flagstaff Fire Department knows how much pets mean to everyone, but they asked to leave the saving of animals to them. Let us go in and get those pets for you. To go back inside a, a smoke-filled residence you know, to re retrieve your pet isn't the safest thing to do. You could very easily become a victim. But for Manny, Toots was worth the risk. That's my dog. That, that's my dog. I love the dog. Colleen Sakura, NAZ Today. Investigators believe this fire started in the laundry room, which is the second this week.